Hello everybody, Hikaru Cosplay here. Today I wanted to test out my Talon Widowmaker wig and headpiece. I literally did this all in a day because I was so excited to do this costume. I do plan on doing it. I ha uh, got a kit to make her gun, so I'm like super excited to do this. This used to be my Officer Caitlyn wig from League of Legends, so it wasn't the great quality, but I was, again, so excited to do this costume, I couldn't help myself. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about the importance of credit. Always, always, always credit your photographer, whoever made your costume, etc, etc, etc. I will admit, sometimes I am lacking in credit. I may forget on one photo to say, hey, I got these wings from this person, or da 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 but never do I ever claim something as my own. Now there's multiple types of credit that I'm talking about. There's credit for your costume, there's credit for your photographer, and there's credit for other cosplayers. To start off, always credit whoever made your pieces of your costume. If you commissioned a cosplayer for a wig or a prop or a costume, or someone gave you their old costume that they made, Heck, even the first time you post a costume that you got on eBay or some cosplay costume site like mickcostumes.com, say, hey, this is where I got this from. And if you didn't make it, never say that you made it. Like if someone says to you, oh, I really love this Judy Hopps costume that you made and you didn't make it, be like, oh, thanks, but I got it from, I didn't make it, I got it from Spree Picky or something like that. Never ever claim that you made something that you didn't make. And again, I usually am a little lax about this. If you don't always credit, like say a wig that I styled for you or something like that, it's fine, it's fine. As long as you're not claiming that you did it when you didn't. If you never credit the person once at all, then yeah, that's, that's not good either. You should definitely tell everybody, hey, so-and-so made this, you should go check them out. Spread some of the love, especially if you're getting a lot of compliments or Facebook likes or whatever for that costume and someone made it for you. And again, if it's like eBay or something like Mick Costumes where it's a cosplay costume site that's kind of mass produced in a way, you don't, that's, you don't have to credit that site in every single picture, but if another cosplayer or a commissioner on like Etsy or something did, you should do that, you should credit them a little bit more than that. Yeah, and I may be slightly hypocritical in this because sometimes I am very lax in crediting for Etsy commissions that I've gotten, but if I've gotten something from another cosplayer, I try to credit as much as possible. Next up is crediting your photographer. Always, always, without a doubt, always credit your photographer, no exceptions. Even if it's like a haul shot that was posted on Facebook or Tumblr or Flickr, credit. Sometimes I forget Flickr usernames, like I don't really record the usernames all the time, but if I'm posting that photo, I always say, oh, I got this from Flickr or whatever. But please, please always credit your photographer, even if it's just another cosplayer who took a haul shot of you. It's just the really nice thing to do, especially if that person has a photography page, always mention it. Again, give credit where credit's due, please. <laughs> it's just, I'm pretty much saying the same stuff that everybody else has always said, but to me, another thing that has always bothered me is when people don't credit cosplayers. Like, I get it if you're a photographer and you just took a haul shot of the person, you don't really know them, or you did like a little mini shoot and you didn't really exchange info or whatever, I get that. Like when you don't know who it was and you're the one who took the photo, yeah, sure. But if you're reposting an image that you found online or sharing an image that you found, if there's no credit for that photographer or especially that cosplayer that's in that photo, there's a problem. I'm always really wary of sharing and reposting pictures, um, posts of cosplayers that don't have any credit attached to them. 
especially if it's a really nice looking photo. Like if it's a haul shot, I'm like, okay, maybe that photographer didn't know who the person was. But if it's like a really nice like studio or private shoot looking photo, there's no credit, that means it was removed from the original post or reposted without that person knowing and uncredited from a site. And I just, I really hate that. I hate seeing posts like from Instagram or Tumblr, hot cosplay girls, usernames, and then there's no credit for that cosplayer. That really bothers me a lot. Of course this bothers me like the most out of all three because it's just such a universal cosplay thing. I'm not primarily a photographer, so I'm only slightly bothered when people don't give credit for like a, a haul shot that I may have taken. I don't do a ton of wig commissions, so it again only slightly bothers me if people don't give credit or whatever. Even if it's just one post like giving credit, I'd be happy, but again, whatever, getting off topic. But yeah, it just really bothers me to see those repost sites and accounts that just don't credit cosplayers. And I, I really, the best that you can do if someone doesn't give credit to you is to ask. If someone doesn't give credit for a photo that you took or a commission that you did, just private message them. Hey, I took that photo or hey, do you mind um, crediting me when you post your photos uh, that I took of you or post photos that of the wig that I commissioned for you? Just, you know, don't really publicly blast someone like, hey, this person didn't credit me for this photo. I didn't. It's just internet witch hunt mentality that I really don't like. But if it's a site that is reposting or an account on like Instagram or Tumblr that is reposting without credit, feel free to publicly comment on that thing like, hey, you should really credit this person. It's so and so. It's that person. Or there are even ways that you can report um, Instagram accounts for stealing images and claiming them as their own and things like that. There are definitely ways to fix it. But again, I really don't like this whole witch hunt internet mentality that we sometimes get where just one person does something slightly wrong and instead of really confronting them privately, it becomes like a whole big public post sort of a thing. And that's pretty rare to see in terms of credit. So again, if someone's not crediting you, just private message them, be like, hey, you mind crediting? Nine times out of 10, 99% of the time, they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I'll totally credit you. Most of the time, no problems at all. If It's pretty dang rare if someone tries to claim something that isn't theirs as their own, or it's like, no, I'm not gonna credit. But I don't know, it's just, this is sort of a ramble vlog to get this thing off my chest. It hasn't been a huge, problem lately, but like I said, I've seen those three things enough to just be like, oh man, wow, I really wish this Instagram account credited this cosplayer. I will not follow Instagram accounts that repost pictures of cosplayers and don't credit. I refuse to do that because that just, that just doesn't sit right with me. And again, that one bothers me the most because I'm primarily just a cosplayer. I'm not primarily a photographer or primarily an Etsy commissioner or things like that. So what bothers me doesn't bother other people as much and what doesn't bother me as much bothers other people more. So it's a very opinionated thing, um, which is kind of why I wanted to post this video was to, I don't know, maybe spark some thought or discussion about these sort of things. I don't know, get people to credit more often. <laughs> so let me know what you think about crediting and not crediting in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. And please make sure that you subscribe and like these videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.